So yeah, 15 years since Undiscovered came out, um, and I can't quite believe it. Uh, but I do remember, like yesterday, um, what it was like recording the first album. It was the most exciting thing I'd ever done. It was where my life changed, and uh, I don't think I'll ever forget that. You know, I was so naive. I had a few songs that I really liked, and uh, we just went for it. Recorded the album, and we put it out, and. Some of the nicest memories from that time for me are like the first time I ever heard my song on radio. That was exciting. I remember being in, in Ravenscourt Park in London and it was a really sunny day. And I took a little picnic blanket out and snacks and food and that and put the radio on. And I just remember thinking no one knew. It, the park was packed as well. No one knew that it was my song. Uh, and I was sat there just thinking, like, I just felt really a beautiful wonderful amazing time for me the first album and so many good memories that come with it i got to play a concert for diana uh, and i got to play peace one day uh, which is an amazing cause really and if you don't know it you should check it out but um jeremy gilly he runs it all it's an yeah it's an amazing thing it was one of the one of my favorite times that i ever got to sing i got to meet annie lennox and and so many legends that i've got to meet along the way um, Stevie Wonder, I got to work with Yusuf Islam. Um, so yeah, it's been a mad, mad ride. And I'm so glad that all of you have been on this journey with me. And um, hopefully I'll get to do another 15 years. I might look a bit old by then, but I'll still be singing. So uh, thank you to everyone who has allowed me to still be here making music um, and, and all your support along the way.